In this video, we are going to explore some symbols that are used to modify figured base symbols. Here I refer you to examples two and three from the figured base and chord inversion guide. Remember that Bach example that we took a look at? Well, do you notice that some of these figures have interesting symbols being used. Like there's a slash through that four. I see a flat there. Um, what else do we see here? Just a sharp symbol, another slash. Well, these symbols are quite common with figured bass and they show when a note is altered from the key that it would normally be in. Um, example three, will show you the most commonly used modification symbols. Anytime you have a slash through a number like that or like that, that means you raise that note. So for the sixes, you would raise whatever note is a sixth above the bass. Over here, we have the four with a line through it, which would mean raise the note that is a fourth above the bass. The other more intuitive symbol that does the same thing is using the sharp sign. You can also just use the sharp by itself, like it happens up here in example two. Whenever you see it written without any number by it, we assume that it applies to the third above the base. So if we look at this example three, here's the example with just a sharp, that means raise the note that's a third above the base, in this case, G sharp. The next task I have for you is getting familiar with constructing triads and seventh chords with these modification symbols.